parked. We've parked in the New Quay Manor car park and the system here is you get a ticket and then when you get back to the car park you pay for your parking and I think it's due to be about £8 today. It's been a little bit stressful picking up the southwest coast path, but we have found it now. Not a lot of signs to be honest, we've just asked somebody and they said it's, it's off that path back there, that path there that we took and we've got to go up here and round the end here and then go down onto the beach and then follow the path all the way round. So I think some signs have gone missing somewhere. Porth Beach. It's got a submerged forest here. It looks like it's going to be a nice part of the walk. We've got to walk over a bit of a river. Good job I got my waterproof shoes on. And then we're going to go to Trevelyug Head. Might have pronounced that wrong, sorry. We decided not to walk across the river. It was a bit too deep, so we walked up those little steps by the Mermaid Inn and walked up the roadway. I think I just felt a spit of rain. We haven't even gone to Trevelyk Head yet. The clouds aren't looking... Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, how dry will we stay for how long? This is the question. We've chosen this bench because it's a little bit off the beaten track, but it's still got a nice view and it's got shelter from these trees in case it does start to really rain. It is spitting a bit. Nice view for a picnic. So today we're going to have Applewood vegan cheese and a caramelised onion chutney from Lidl's and some little falafels. Yum yum! So we finished our picnic now and we've started up to Trevelyug Head next to Porth Beach. So Trevelli Goo Head is an Iron Age settlement, so that's really interesting. So here's Porth Beach and way over in the distance you can just make out a church, there it is in the middle, 
and that's where we've parked the car. The car park is opposite the church. And so that's the new quay. There's a few boats out to see. The sky seems to be clearing. Dare I hope we won't get wet. And then I believe that's Watergate, Watergate Beach there. And then around the bay, we got Morgan Porth. So not a very long walk today. So we are at Trave Traveleg Point and the weather looks amazing. The sky is blue with white fluffy clouds. However, the weather forecast from Morgan Porth is rain. Are we walking into rain? Let's hope not. Let's hope it all blows over. And then back out onto the road. We haven't made much progress, but we have gone to Chivalgu Head and back. Now we're carrying on with the path. This is Watergate Bay which looks like a lovely, lovely beach, a lovely place to bring the family and, and dogs are allowed by the looks of it as well, it looks lovely. We're trying to find, to pick up the path again, the South West Coast path. It is quite difficult to pick it up. Oh, actually Paul has just found it. Natalie called Coast Path. And there's an old one down there. Coast Path. Oh, this is funny. Feels like you're going into somebody's back garden. Oh. Okay, we've got two miles to go to go to Morgan Porth. So hopefully it won't rain. I've taken all my layers off. I'm down to my t-shirt. And I've put my sun hat on. I've already got suntan cream on, so Here's hoping for a dry ending to this walk. This part of the path looks interesting. We're gonna have to be careful here. So I'm going to put my phone away because it does get narrow right at the edge here. So I'm going to put my phone away for this. It wasn't too bad of a climb actually. It was wider than it looked. Whew.
wiggly path going down out to there and then you can see it again going just behind that hill and up over there. A deserted beach doesn't look like there's an easy way for humans to get to it unless you come in by boat perhaps but the birds are enjoying the freedom One mile to Morgan Porth. I think we're going to do it. So in the distance you can see Newquay and we've walked all along that coast path and we've just got about just under a mile to go to Morgan Porth and then we'll be catching the bus back. Hopefully we'll get back by four o'clock. If we're a bit early we'll have a cup of tea if we're a bit late. Hmm, don't know, might have to catch the six o'clock, which would be annoying. What a lovely view. What a lovely walk. So this is Morgan Porth and over the other side you can just about see the path that we would have come down last time. And there is a video showing that walk to Morgan Porth which I will link. So here we are at Morgan Porth and I am going to look at what the weather should be. Oh, you know, actually it's three o'clock and it's, and it's raining here. <laughs> and, it, and, it's, and it really isn't. It is not raining here. It is boiling hot. I'm down to my t-shirt. I've got my sun hat and sun cream on. And as you can see, it's meant to be raining, but it isn't. It seriously is not raining. It is an absolutely glorious, glorious day. Morgan Porth Beach and it's quarter past three so we got time for a cup of tea before catching the bus. Yay! Then at the cafe at Morgan Porth we had a peanut butter brownie without any dairy, barley, rye or oats so very good for me and a cup of tea with some soya milk. Yum yum! All vegan. So we just got back to the car and it was £10 for the day so that's quite steep to park in Newquay but it was convenient for walking to Morgan Porth, catching the bus back and it was a nice open top bus. So we've arrived at the bar. This is exciting. I always like the... Oh. It is really nice Paul. Oh, it's really lovely. It's got a nice kitchen, little oven, microwave, sink. Paul, it's got a sink. Sink. <laughs> Fridge. 
toilet, shower, sink. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. I always like to film it before we put our rubbish in.